In this video, we are taking a three minute tour of Simscape Battery. We start in MATLAB with the Battery Pack Builder, where we define the format and geometry of an individual cell. From the cell, we define a parallel assembly, and from the parallel assembly, we define a module. As we build out our pack, we can define the model resolution that we want our Simscape model to have. In this example, we'll model each parallel assembly as a single cell model. We define a module assembly before finally defining our full pack. From here, a single line of code will generate a Simscape model of your pack with the model resolution that you've chosen. Now we have our pack model, let's build out our full system. We first add our pack with an electrical load. Next, we add our ambient environment using thermal components and connect our ambient model to the ambient thermal port. Next, we add cooling. In this case, we're using a parallel channel cooling plate and thermal liquid components, which we connect to the cooling thermal port. Our physical system is now complete, so we now add the algorithms, starting with state of charge estimation. In practice, we cannot directly measure state of charge, so we must estimate it from voltage, current and temperature. Now we add a state of health estimator, which is important for monitoring the remaining useful life of the battery pack. In this case, we estimate state of health from estimated terminal resistance. Now we add a temperature control system, which controls the flow of coolant liquid through the cooling plate to regulate pack temperature. Next comes cell balancing, through which we equalize the state of charge of each cell. If this is not done, the cells will degrade at different rates and cell capacity will be reduced. Finally, we add a pack level charge and discharge algorithm. This algorithm ensures that the pack state of charge is kept within specified limits. Voila, we now have a functional battery system. Now we can simulate and analyze. On the left, we can see measured state of charge and estimated state of charge, or SOC. While SOC cannot be directly measured in practice, we can measure it in simulation. Note that the SOC starts at different values and then converges to the same value. That's cell balancing in action. Also note that the SOC levels off. That's charge limiting in action. I hope you enjoyed this tour. Thank you for listening.